Hey, what's going on, you guys? I was on 1414 here, right there. Okay, so today I have a really simple recipe that I found that I want to share with you guys. It is a recipe for uh, lemon pie. I made this, I think it was last week, maybe two weeks ago. It turned out really good, so I'm just going to share it with you. So let's get going. I'm going to try to use as many sugar-free items as I possibly can. So for this, you're going to need one box of lemon jello, sugar-free. You're going to need one box of vanilla cook and serve pudding, again, sugar-free. And we're going to use some lemon juice. Now I'm kind of surprised, I for some reason thought that lemon juice would have some kind of sugar content in it, but this doesn't, so so much the better. But I'm using 100% real lemon juice. And you're going to need some Cool Whip, and again this is sugar free. And we got a pie crust, no it's not sugar free, but whatever. Okay, we're going to get going on this. First thing you need to do is put two and one-thirds cup of water into the pan. Okay. Alright, there we go. Put the water in there. Now we need a third cup of lemon juice. I don't know if you can see them, but Ash is down here trying to see what I'm doing. Okay, there's the lemon juice. Now we're going to add the uh, jello, the lemon jello. Put that right in there. I'm just going to quickly stir that in, make sure it gets dissolved. This is very simple to do. Literally, if you can boil water, you can make this. Okay, right, just trying to get all that gel mix dissolved in there. All right, and then we're going to add the uh, cook and serve vanilla pudding, sugar free once again. Again, just going to mix this in, and from here, what you're going to do is bring this to a boil. Once this starts boiling, you're just going to let it go for an additional two minutes. Just, you know, keep stirring it, keep an eye on it. So, like I said, just going to let this come to a boil, let it boil for two minutes, and then we will be right back. Okay, this has been boiling for two minutes. So, I've been stirring it. I'm going to take it off of here, turn the heat off. Now, the directions say to let this cool down for a while before you put it into the pie crust. I don't know. I guess I'm going to wait maybe five, ten minutes. So, I will be back when it's cooled down. Okay, so I let this cool for, I don't know, maybe ten minutes. The directions really don't specify how long to do it for. So, I did it for ten minutes. All right, now we got our pie crust. Take the lid off. Going to pour this right into the uh, pie crust carefully. All right, there we go. Now it says the directions say to put it in the refrigerator but cover it. I don't know if it's really necessary to cover it. Um, I don't know if there's any difference. I covered it the first time I made it and it turned out fine, so I'm going to cover it again. So, got the lid. I'm just going to loosely place it on top of here. Now, from my own experience, you're probably going to get some kind of condensation in this lid in the next few hours because of the steam coming off of the uh, mixture. What you want to do, just carefully remove it. Try not to get any of that liquid back into the pie. And I just used a paper towel and I uh, dried out the lid. Um, that's what I did and it seemed to work pretty good. So now it says you can put it in the refrigerator for six hours or overnight. I'm just going to leave it in there overnight. So tomorrow I will get it back out and we will finish this up. 
So it's the next day. This was in the refrigerator all night long. It's nice and cooled down. And like I mentioned in the previous clip, I did get some condensation inside of this lid and I just carefully removed it. I made sure none of that liquid went back into the pie. Took a paper towel, dried it out. We're good to go. Now the directions say to put a layer of Cool Whip on this. Uh, one and a half cups of Cool Whip. Now the first time I made this I was a little concerned. I wasn't sure how well the Cool Whip would hold up over time. I'm not going to eat this whole pie in one day, so I wasn't sure if, you know, if the Cool Whip was going to hold up over multiple days. And actually it did. It was fine. But I think just for this particular pie this time, I'm just going to cut it and add the Cool Whip per slice. Instead of just putting a whole layer across it. You could do that if you want to. I just don't want to do it this time. So let's get this thing cut. Looks pretty good. Here, let's take a quick look. Looks really good. Alrighty, let's see if I can actually cut this. I always have trouble cutting these. Should be able to get eight pieces out of this if you're using a nine inch pie crust, which is what I'm using. This is my second time making this and I'm going to say that this actually looks better than the first time. And like I said, I did put a layer of Cool Whip over it the first time. I just didn't want to do it this time. Alrighty, let's see if I can get this out of here. How's this going to work? The first piece is always a doozy. Yeah, alright, let's see. Hey, I think I got it all the way through. Let's get a fork. Alright, actually got it. Took a little work, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. It's pretty good. Okay, you guys can take a close-up look at that. Like I said, I'm just going to put a layer of Cool Whip over this per slice. I think this, uh, like I said when I made it the first time, it actually held up pretty good, the Cool Whip did. I would say it probably lasts a good three, maybe four days. There you go. Let's give this a taste. It's really, really good. And the thing that's kind of bugging me out a little bit about this is the vanilla pudding. I don't know why that's in here, why they say to put it in here. Maybe it helps thicken it up, helps set it up. It's really good though. You can't really taste the vanilla pudding. It tastes like lemon pie, as it should, since that's what it's called. So yeah, there you go. There's an easy lemon pie recipe. Give it a try. If you try it out, let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.